On these problems, they're doing something that might take a little work to figure out, but really they're taking the total population of the United States. Let's just use 1880 as an example. And with the whole U.S., they are drawing a line north-south and east-west, and using census data, they're taking the entire population and dividing it north-south so that exactly half of the U.S. population live north and exactly half would live south. And then same exact population number for the total country, they'd have the same amount on the west side and the same amount on the east side. And so in the entire U.S., this little location, this dot right here, that 1880, that is where it would land for that year. And hope that makes sense of it. And so first question, 8 between 1910 and 1930, which region of the United States probably had the greatest increase in population? Well, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to connect the dots and see which direction it is. And whatever direction that line's going is going to give me uh, the data I need. So 1910 to 1930. Well, 1910 is right here, and 1930 is a little north and east. And let's go back to our question. A would be northeast. That's the answer. Number nine, which of the following most likely accounts for the population shift between 1880 and 1910? Again, I'm looking for a direction here. 1880 is right here. 1910 is this way. So it's heading mostly west and a little bit north. So it's an increase in population in the east. Nope, it'd be going the opposite direction. Lower birth rates in the east. Uh, I don't think that just the, the birth rate going down that way, if there's more people in the west, then it still could account for that. For C, people moving to the west. Yes, that's most likely. Economic problems in the west. No, they'd probably be moving east, and then that would shift it eastward. So C is the answer. Ten. The latitude and longitude lines that intersect, so here's an intersection point, to define the medians that are not given on the map. If they are provided, which of the following locations would be closest to the 1990 median center? So notice you have A is 39 degrees north, 86 west, and so I'm looking at these. Uh, only, the only difference is, is it northwest, northeast, southwest, or southeast? For that, it helps to know where the equator is and prime meridian and how latitude and longitude works. If you look here, prime meridian, here at zero degrees, here's the equator at zero degrees, and as you go this way, that is west, and as you go this way, that is north. So this would be 30 west, 60 west, 90 west, this would be 15 north, 30 north, 45 north, and so if I go over here, well, let's stay here. Where's the United States? And then you see it's circled already in blue, and that means we're in the north and the west quadrant. So on which of these, A, B, C, or D, has north and west? That would be A. And 11, between 1880 and 1990, so that's a big span, the center of population shifted less than 200 miles. Which of the following could explain the slow rate of movement? During this time, there was very little population growth. No, we know just from background that uh, the U.S. grew quite a bit from 1880 to 1990, especially due to immigration and, of course, birth rate. So it can't be A. During this time period, the borders of the United States changed very little. Now remember that this is more based on population shifts and where people are living and total population. And so this yeah, that has very little to do with, with the borders changing. We know also background that the, the borders didn't change very much, but they're still shifting around. C, during this time period, just as many people moved east to west as moved from west to east. Again, this requires a little background knowledge, but we know that quite a few people moved westward during this time period. 
Uh, so that can't be it. And that leaves us D. During this time period, population growth was relatively similar throughout the country. And that would account for it not shifting a whole lot during that period of time. So D is the answer.